Okay, once you've got um, all your code from the table creator to your bot, you'll need to hook it up so you can um, add, the, add your data to the table. Um, all the um, defines and commands for making the table work, I'll put in a loop. Make it easy to keep separate from the rest of your bot's code. Um, with this demo, demo, I've got one button that's going to run this load file command, define. Um, and this define, I'd recommend I'm using Amen's free file management plugin. This is uh, from, taken from that. I'd recommend you get that and use it. Um, loading table brings up that up, and just select the table CSV file. Easy. Um, also. I use that um, in the save file. If I can just find it. A save file dialog will bring up a dialog box the same. They can choose where to save it. And get file extension, that's from Amen's free file management plugin as well. I use that to, if they click on a file, to remove the extension because down here when they give the when they save a table this pop up will come up if you just enter a name here and then click save oops cancel why don't um it'll automatically add the dot csv so if they click on a actually click on a csv file it'll be the name of the file dot csv then dot csv will get added again so that's why i use the remove extension first so i really recommend that you do use amen's free plugin also if you um, want to load the csv from a button the same as i'm doing in this demo then you won't need to edit anything. Actually, that can be deleted. Let's just say. Uh, yeah, you won't need to edit uh, anything if you set it up the same and use the file management plugin. Now, if you want to load the table from scrape data, let's say you scrape data, scrape either first names, gets added to a list last names added to a list and emails added to a list then you need to add that list to as a table column and the table you've got to add it to has to be original table um, so the first names will be wouldn't be column one it'll be column zero don't worry ignore this this gets added automatically a bit later so first names will be original table column 0 column 1 add list to table as column I think you should get the idea that's just got it has to be added to original table and you'll just have to edit this define command these to suit however you want to load the data and um, that's the only only one you should have to edit the rest of them you can just leave as they are um, now I think I showed this in another video but just click on any cell to edit it insert a new row if I want a new row in row 1 just click on it
and it's got added in there. Um, search, if you do a search, I won't worry about doing that now, but then to return back to, you just click on undo search to take it back to the original table. Um, now I've made some changes, if I want to save it, just click on save and I can save it, overwrite the original table or save it to a new one. Um, for deleting rows, click on delete row and then double click anywhere in the row or rows that you want to delete to select them. Then click the delete rows button again to delete them. So I'll get rid of Adam Knox. Double click on that, you'll see down here last row added zero. And that's deleted it. Now to work with the data um, from the table, let's say I wanted to add send an email to some of these people. I didn't want to send it to the first five though, so I'll click on delete row. Double click on the ones I don't want to send to. Make it six, delete. That's deleted them. Now, um, to work with the data from the table you'll need to get the I'll just bring up the debugger everything is that's um, on the screen inside this table is in a table called updated table see updated table 8 rows 8 I'll just delete one to show you there we So I'm going to delete a row, so updated tables, we then have seven. Yep. You see Mary Martin is in the first row, Mary Martin. Last row, Tracy McKay. Tracy McKay. So all this data is in a table called updated table and that's where you're going to have to retrieve the data to work with it, perform actions on it. So if I wanted to send these people an email, what I would do is add table column to list for first names. So the table column for first names will be where are we? updated table column 1 and to get the emails same thing at column 3 see here so just add table column to list table column to list and then you can just create your code to do what you need and I think that's all I can't think of anything else if you have any questions, just uh, post on the thread. Thank you.